What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. Today we're going to be checking out the Seizinger 21C. This is a very interesting car, very fast car, very hard to drive. But we're going to do a stage 6 shift pattern and tune, stage 5 shift pattern and tune. We're going to do a live racing setup if we can find one. And we're going to do a review on the car and tell you all about it. Let you know if it's good, what it's good at, what it's not good at. So let's go, go do the maxed out stage 6 shift pattern and tune. If you've got all the stage six and all the fusions, nitrous all the way to the right, final drive 2.27, tire pressure 26 psi, and that gives us a dyno of a 6.988, 6.988 on the dyno. To drive it when it's maxed out, let go of the gas on number two, instantly shift into second gear, third, fourth, fifth nitrous, and then all shifts right before the red line. So here we go. Three, two, one, go, second, third, fourth, fifth nitrous. Six gear, and that's pretty much it. Very easy car to drive, but very weird car to drive. Then we got a seven, six point seven twenty four. If you get a perfect run, you might get a six point six something. And this is beating the dyno time by a nice amount. Let's go ahead and set this up for stage five and do a shift in tune. But first, thank you to Asho Speed the King. I'm using his account to do this video. Without accounts like this, us YouTubers couldn't make these videos for you guys. Thank you, Asho. Link to his YouTube channel in this video's description. Okay, so when it's on stage five with all the fusions, nitrous all the way to the right, final drive 2.0, tire pressure 26 psi. That gives us a 9.229 on the dyno time. So let's show you how to drive it on stage five. All right, so we're basically going to let go of the gas on number two shortly after shift into second, third, fourth, fifth, nitrous, and then that's it. Okay, very easy to drive. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth, fifth, nitrous. So you're going to shift it something like that, and then hands off, we can just go ahead and let it run on out. A bam, easy peasy. Easy peasy, yeah, yeah. 8.770, last was 8.759. Not too bad, not too bad. 8.77 and yeah, it's beating Dino by kind of a lot. So let's go see if we can find a really good live racing setup for this car. So if you want to set it up for live racing, try it out like this. Engine stock, turbo stock. Intake stock, nitrous stage five, body stage five, tire stage three, transmission stage five. Put the nitrous at 96 and 4.2. Final drive 2.89 and tire pressure on 26 psi. That gives us a 12.4 and we're going to be in the 12.4 lobby. We don't want to beat the dyno. We want to, we want to, want to run as close to 12.4 as possible. That way the car always stays in the 12.4 lobby and it doesn't get pushed into the faster and faster lobbies. These lower performance point high Evo tunes are usually good for winning live races without beating dyno and you get to stay in the same lobby, which is the beauty of these tunes. Now this will run a 12.0, but we do not want to beat 12.4. So we're going to have to downshift several times before we cross the finish line. So bottom line, we're going to do a very standard shift pattern. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous. Third gear. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. And now we're going to go ahead and wait till we're about to win. And then down, 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 downshift a whole bunch of times right before you cross the finish line to slow down there we still got a 12.1 something so you're really going to have to time when you downshift to keep it in the 12.4 lobby if not this car will get pushed into the faster and faster and faster lobbies this type of setup you do not want to beat the dyno okay you do not want to beat the dyno so downshift if you're winning downshift as many times as you can Okay, let's do a review with this car. First problem is it's a brand new car. Seizinger is a new brand. So good luck getting fusion parts for this thing. You're going to have to buy this car and buy the fusion parts to make it fast enough to beat the event. It will easily beat Tempest 1, Tempest 2, Tempest 3. No problem with enough parts. It's a very, very fast car. It looks like it's going to run somewhere in the 6.6 .6 to 6.7 range. It's going to have a top speed of 390 some miles per hour. 
0 to 60 in 0 0.6 something, 0 to 100 in 1 0 something. Very fast car, great top speed, great acceleration, beats Dino Time on stage 5, stage 6 on the live racing tune, and it does have a nice live racing setup that will probably win a lot of races. I believe that live racing setup will give it a big lobby advantage. I can't test it out on this account. We don't take accounts like this into play against real people, but these lower performance point high Evo tunes normally dominate live racing without having to switch lobbies. That's the beauty of these guys. You can win live races without beating the dino time and stay in the same lobby and win the majority of the races. If you can get the car, and you can get the parts and you can level it up i think it's a very nice car i like it a lot so yeah this one might be worth spending the 20 bucks on but i don't know how much how much is going to cost you to get all the parts you need to make it fast but yeah awesome car overall I think that wraps this one up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other YouTube channels. We got the da Danny Lightning Science Tech, Danny Lightning War Robots, and the Dan Danny Lightning CSR2 channel. And all of a sudden, I can't seem to talk. But yeah, like, subscribe, hit the little bell, set those notifications to all. I try to make videos to help you guys out. So if you want to catch all the new stuff and the news and the things like that, go ahead and do that stuff. And we will catch you next time. All right. Lightning out. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. See ya.